Welcome back, everyone. My name is Eltamar, and we are going to be continuing our Let's Play of Spellforce 3 Soul Harvest. We looked at last time, we were fighting against Reavers and Banditos. Uh, we also respect our character, On your order. our tank, I should say, uh, which is now really bad because we are... It must be done. That's actually really good, but I've messed up my bars slightly, so I need to fix that really quick. Uh, he is now, I'll show you in a second here, I'm just going to grab his taunt skill. I kind of focused him a little bit more into the sword and board. He needs shield bash, obviously, but he's got a good block chance. Um, and also the best taunt. He also grabbed crushing maelstrom, which is his special ability. It pulls things into him and impairs them, uh, which is good because his sword does extra things. It, 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 sorry, it empowers impaired or it elongates impaired. What sword it uses? prolongs impaired. There we go. So it does that. What now? He also has more strength and he's using different equipment. Lead on. Very obviously because he service? now has a sword as opposed to... Well, that's it's a lot of dudes. Or We're gonna just go ahead and do that. Make them all have blood rain on them. Which should lay waste them pretty fast actually. Now, we need to get to the... Nidori, which I believe is this one? A good return on your investment. I saw them around that area, so Attack! we're going to try to... We found more enemies. This is how it ends. Throwing your life away. Uh, uh, he's also got a permanent... Oh wait, he's already turned off, because I think I accidentally hit it by... I'm listening. Go ahead. Got it. All right. Yeah, by mistake but should be on now. She's using the other aura, so they're overlapping auras, different auras, of course, but hopefully that'll help us out a little bit. In combat, one's a defensive aura, one is an offensive aura. Let's get this over with. These are all Nadari, so we're going to go see if we can kill them. Need? When we Keep get to the up. top of this ramp, I'm going to cast some golems, or a golem, I should say. I'm also going to switch this back to here, summon that there. And summon that there. They should be arriving in this area soon. There they are. Let me quick. And we'll taunt. Because why not? I don't know if any of these count, but they're the only ones I could see, so we might have to do a little more exploring to find the father. I will follow. One for goo. Yeah, these definitely are not the right ones. None of them dropped anything. Sure so, Over here? if I were the Nadari that had goo, you which is not a thing I would ever thought I'd have to say, where would they be? Down here, maybe? What is that? What do we have here? Oh, Spark of the Essence. I actually don't know what that is, or right. how we missed right it, on. or what it does. Okay. Spark of the Essence, eh? Over there? Maybe it's down in the swampy area here. Although I can't see it on my little aura around my godstone. Could also be up here, possibly. There's also some sort of loot here. Oh! Move in. Oh, there's definitely things here. That's a swarm lord. That might be the father we're looking for. Uh, do we have... We don't have whirlwind. He has just made more of himself? Or is... Those things heal him somehow? Oh, I'm on the wrong thing. That's what's going on here. Turn that back on. Giant Nadari trophy. That's the goo, apparently. We've acquired the goo, or the goo of a Nadari father. Which is a weird thing to have to grab, but whatever. Time to leave. We're going to go to Windhome, drop that off, and then we're finally going to make our way to the Crimson Mire, where we will do a quest for realsies this time.
I'm actually super excited to try out uh, Wasteland 2 the, or Wasteland 3 this morning. I've installed, I've had it installed for like a day and a half. I just haven't had time to play it. I hate being an adult and I hate how much work I have to do these days. It needs to slow down. Although, to be fair, I actually am a little bit concerned that with quarantines being placed everywhere, I might not have any work to do. Which is fine because I have like a ton of vacation time saved up. Because I never take vacations and I really, really should. That's work life balance, people. It's important. I just don't have one. But, um, if there ends up being no work for a while, that could kind of suck. Oh, hello again. Hi. Here Here's you go. What you asked for. Nadari Goo. That'll do the trick. Is it tight? My best work can't be rushed. But could it be nudged along faster? Oh. Here we are. Use it well. I'd like something crafted. Anything else? I, and I'd like to craft a fine piece of gear for you. But my little flame needs a rest. Can't have his little fire going out. Why don't you come back later? All right. I'll be going. Hi. Be seeing you. So he's given us Fury Armor when taking damage once every two seconds. Your attack and spell power increase each time you take damage. It's actually kind of nice. What do you require? Let's take a look at our gear. What are we wearing? We're wearing garbage. It's probably useful for us. Let's throw Fury Armor on. It looks really cool. Oh man, that looks awesome. Our wizard looks even more... I don't know, Battle Magey now. Necromancer looks more Battle Magey, whatever you want to say. Whichever way you want to do it. Looks cool though. Very cool. We need to sell things. In all honesty, our inventory is just a travesty at the moment. It is so bad. Right side, we can just shove all those down. And we have a bunch of books and stuff. These are all quest items, so they're kind of important. We have a bunch of amulets, or whatever they're called, trinkets. So, we could throw them on people. Wait, are we not wearing our legendary Empyrean charm? We're not because we're wearing the Vendiculum, which is actually kind of more important, I think. Even though the health per second and focus per second are very, very nice. I could give somebody else that thing, I guess. Oh, I mean, the flute's kind of sweet, so maybe we'll leave that. Oh, our charm can only be used by us. Does that mean the Vendiculum can be used by other people? Because I could just give that to our mercenary yes. for now. Yes. I guess so. Alright, good enough. I'm ready. She's got a giant F off mace, so she can carry around the Vendiculum. Let us world map up. Crimson Mire time, I believe. She's using the Lich's armor, which looks really cool. Everyone's getting cool gear now. Our uh, mercenary's shield, he's using an Archon shield, I believe it's called, and it looks really neat as well. I kind of like the glowy ruins on it. I'm a big fan of glowy ruins. Alright, there we go. Crimson, oh, Calibrock has a thing. Alright, oh, never mind. For the greater good and the Reavers. Oh, we have to bring Wraith. Oh, that sucks, because we left freaking... Hang on. Wraith will wear the Viniculum, but we can't not bring it with us. Pretty sure we're going to need it for something. There we go. And that also sucks because I like her as a character. She's awesome. Alright, we're bringing Wraith along and we're going to bring our Just sword board. See, his uh, shield has glowy sort of runic patterns on it. It's really neat. And we're going to bring our healer. I have your back. Amidst the spindly trees and waterlogged decay, Wraith. signs Ugh. of the Fleshkin's takeover of the mire are everywhere. A row of sharpened sticks, some adorned with the heads of vanquished enemies and animal carcasses, demarcate the orc's territory. The trickle of sunlight on the peat moss is the only splash of cheer against the stench of rotted wood and fermented bog. I should clarify, I actually really like Wraith. Right. That's the mire. I think our best bet of finding Sorobi is finding and talking to the Fleshkin. I saw a couple of tracks earlier that might have belonged to orcs. They shouldn't be far. Well then. Let's step to it. And well, Wraith is really, really? cool. He has the exact man. same skill set as our main character. Oh, this shit. Is it. 
there's apparently enemies right here. Let's just kill them, I guess. To challenge us. Need me? Apparently there are goblin pesterers Damn. around. Damn you! Or you! A little help here! That's What's going on? Oh shit, that's a okay. Let's uh taunt that beast. And we should be able to kill it pretty fast. There's a smith. Hello, Smith. No, claws. The beast almost had me this time. What are you doing out here? What does it look like? Hunting. The mire is an excellent source of raw materials for my smithing. You're a smith? Are you from Calabrock by any chance? Do I look like a pale blood? Of course I'm from Calabrock. Look, why don't we continue this conversation back at my workshop there? I want to get out of this soggy dump. Also, I might have a proposition to run by you. I'll see you there. Okay, I'll see you there then. Mm-hmm. See that you do. Hmm. What's this? Wolf hide and you fangs. Hmm. Apparently. Interesting. Yes, things for us to do. The orcs apparently are not happy we're in their swamp and are attacking us on sight. That said, I'm not too concerned. Where are we halfway up to level 15? Let me quick. I also need to find another vengeful spirit, so if we can find one of those, that'd be kinda nice. Godstone. Did we not grab that when we arrived? Oof. Whoops. More crab dung, which we need for what's this? Things. And plus five wood. You need not particularly out. useful at the moment. Oh, there's a thing here. Uh, vinicular. Nope, that's the Imperian charm. Wrong thing. You know, in a way, Keawu, your people have it all figured out. What do you mean? They know a truth that many refuse to see. People don't change. We try to make ourselves... Fight! Must fight! Wait, we mean no harm. We... Fort Zarek! What's the latest? Uh, we're gonna taunt him so that our character Stay doesn't watch. get turned into paste. We're also gonna make that. Yeah, maybe like one of these. He's got a ton of life. 15,000 life? Jeez. Also, our characters mean to knock down, so that's kind of good. Taunt again. Do not stand in melee and get killed. He's got so much life. Oh no. Who's he after? He's going after skeletons. I do not care about that. Taunt him again. He does have whirlwind, so our healer. You should not be standing in melee. If I must. Under any circumstances. And we should probably get more skeletons out. And a retaunt. And that should be it. He's pretty much dead. I'm 200 listening. health left. Dead. What do we get? We got a weakening tribe sword, which is a dex based weapon. Applies weakened. And we also got Divine Perception. Oh my god, it's amazing armor. Int 8 though requirement. We don't have Int 8 yet. But all ability cooldowns minus 25%. All ability costs minus 25%. That's crazy. That's insanely good armor. Uh, we need 8 intelligence though, which is not next level, but the level after, I think. Ancestors Where are we going? So we're going to have to sure. wait it out a little bit for that one. 8 intelligence is pretty high, and 8 willpower is also quite high. Alright. Well, we did some cool things you there. There is Attack! an underwater road. Alrighty. There's a harvester here. here, okay. And a spire of souls. It's not worrying at all. There's a lot of outpost areas which lends me to believe I'm gonna have to build an army here eventually. I have your back. Especially since we're finding resources like wood. And whatever this is. What do we have Ooh. here? Okay. I'll keep the bar oh. away. Hmm. Okay. More pale skins. Come to join Zarek's train? Sure. Why not? The last one's ended up on a pile of corpses, so you should reconsider. What is wait, what what are, who are the last ones? The last ones? Couple of rosy cheeked boys who call themselves adventurers and were hoping for riches. Didn't work out well for them. What's Zarek's trying? An orcish ritual. 
Basically a month of fighting and bloodshed. It's a lot of fighting and bloodshed. So you're holding it? Well, look at that. The Dark Elf did his homework. Yeah, we are. But it's not just Fleshkin fighting each other. Anyone who wants to pay Zarek his respects can. But you don't seem to be here for the trying, so why are you here? Is the trying why the Fleshkin came here? Is the trying why the Fleshkin came here? Among other things, yeah. What's the purpose of these fights? What's the purpose of these fights? The purpose? Bloodshed, strength, survival of the fittest. We celebrate the nature of existence. The struggle. Whoever comes out on top is entitled to half the riches of the tribe. Which is probably why so many would-be adventurers join the fights too. They don't understand that the real prize isn't gold or weapons. Disagree. But the honor of having proven oneself to Zarek. So your god wants you to kill each other to celebrate existence? I don't understand. To exist means to fight, but I won't waste my time explaining it to you. Does the Exalted Father tolerate your presence here? Does the Exalted Father tolerate your presence here? Well, if he doesn't, he's welcome to tell us. We're looking for a dark elven woman named Sorobi. Did a dark elven woman perchance pass through here recently? Her name's Sorobi. Soro? Well, Zarek's fires burn me. Whatever's your business with her, she's not coming back. The chieftain has made her his blood princess. What's a blood princess? Blood princess? What are you talking about? Well, when she came here a moon ago, we first thought she was like all the other fools hoping for riches in the trying. She wasn't. She fought like a demon, with a power that was both refined and untamed. It was the chieftain who found out who she really was, the Blood Princess. There's an old orcish prophecy speaking of a non-orc who will prove herself in the trying. If she prevails, she will mate with the strongest orc of the tribe, the Blood Prince, and create a new breed of warriors. Create a new breed of warriors? Create a new breed of warriors? You mean... Your chieftain wants Sarobi to bear his children? Lots of them, yes. And they'll be perfect. The children of Nor and Zarek melded with the strength of an orc and the magical talent of a dark elf. The perfect warrior, the apex predator. And what will this new dark <laughs> elven and orcish warrior race be called? Very funny. What? It went on. No, it didn't say the last word. It said dorks. Dorks was the last word. So your chieftain thinks Sorobi is his blood princess? Why? So your chieftain thinks Sorobi is his blood princess? Why? Just because she fought well in the trying? Just because? She took down enough men, women, and creatures to fill a graveyard with. Sorobi is a fighter, pale skin. One your kind rarely produces. Also, a moon before she arrived, our chieftain had a dream where Zarek told him what was about to happen. Sorobi is still fighting down there? So Sorobi has been fighting in that pit for over a moon now. Without a single loss, yes. And she'll continue fighting until the trying is over, just as Zarek wills it. Your chieftain fell in love with her? Your chieftain fell in love with her? Love? You might call it that, yes. But mostly it's respect. He knows that she's the one who lead our kind to a new age. What does Sorobi think about all of this? What does Sorobi think about all this? Well, what do you think? She's honored, as she should be. We need to talk to Sorobi. We need to talk to Sorobi. No chance. Not until the trying's over and not even after that. She's the chieftain's now. We could fight in the trying and free her when we go up against her. What was that? Never mind. We want to participate in the trying. You're up to something, aren't you? According to your traditions, you have to let us participate. Or are you afraid a couple of pale skins will best your warriors? You got a big mouth. <laughs> well, fine. Fight if you want. But don't cry if we carry your friends out in pieces. Alright, well we're not going to do that quite well, yet. I'll come back later. Suit yourself. Because A, we haven't leveled up Wraith at all. I'll leave him with reanimation, I don't care. I'm also going to make a slightly better corpse golem with him. 
Oh, but there's another I thing I wanted to do first. To keep up. Lead the way. There's like more to explore out here. And I know that's our main quest thing to do, but we're not quite there, there yet. A storm is coming. Over here? May I ask you something, sir? Wraith? If you're able to see souls, do you also see where they go when they die? Oh yes. I call it the Valley of the Great Bling Bling. A place full of well-endowed maidens with flowers in their hair and where the rivers flow with honey. You're joking. Of course I am. If a soul dies, it's gone. There's no afterlife. Oh. I see. What is this? Oh, there's a godstone. Let's go pick that up. This looks like it should be something, but it might just be aesthetics. And it does look really cool. Alright, mm -hmm. nothing here. We're just going to do some exploring before we do the tournament. Because we only have uh, like 10 minutes left on this video. And so we might as well look around the area. I was kind of hoping to hit level 15 first, but I highly doubt we're going to be able to. Unless we find something really cool to kill. Or possibly when we go back to the town to talk to the blacksmith, which actually might be a really good idea. There could be things we're looking for in this area that we haven't gotten yet. We'll grab this godstone. I was also kind of hoping to run into a vengeful spirit so we can upgrade our Empyrean charm again. Consider it done. There's hidden dudes. Um, those guys should die pretty fast. Actually, they all are dying really fast. What do we get for loot? We got Switch Saber, which is kind of garbage, Medium Shield, also kind of garbage, and a Guardianship of Nor. Which is a scroll of here, sure. propaganda, basically. Well, really? I might just quickly jump to Calibrock and... Oh my god, those guys are big. Lead okay, uh, run. Let's just run first. I'm going to use our tank to pull the line. What is it? Skeletons on the other side of it. And everyone steps way back. That is not a good place for that golem to be summoned, but it'll be fine. Let's keep the taunt going. Let's make him bleed down. And... Let's make him double bleed, actually, and then avoid arrow. There we go. That's fine. Everything's good. Ow. One dead. Just what I needed. And there should be a second one I saw. Famished troll. I'm gonna put the skeletons back here. And we're gonna bloodstorm him twice. And then we'll put some more skeletons back here. But I think we've pretty much got this down. Pew. What's it like this? Our void arrow does like a thousand damage, which is pretty damn good. Hmm. Alright, what do we got? Interesting. So there's a bunch of potions. And that appears to be it. Huh. Not as exciting as I had hoped, to be honest. But okay. Let's do Calibrock really quickly, talk to the blacksmith there, see what he wants us to grab. See if we can get some more cool extra armor stuff, because I kind of want some of that. And then we will call it a video. And I'm going to go and make breakfast, because I'm hungry. Yes, I've been up for like four hours and I haven't eaten. Sure, whatever, we'll bring Wraith with us to Cal Calibrock. I guess we need him for some reason, I don't understand why. We've been to Calibrock before, we should be able to go there without getting murdered, probably. Alrighty. Uh, there's literally no portals close to where we want to go. There's one that's sort of closer, I guess. Yes? Who sets up their camp in the middle of friggin' nowhere? Hope that's the closest one. We didn't bring somebody along, Go did we? Ahead. Our main character. Nice. All right. Make it good. Everyone goes there. There's also a store here, but we don't care right now. There's two stores there, actually. Let's see what we can find here, though. At the Smith. Everyone's arrived. Okay. Talk to him. What do you want? Oh, it's you. 
You actually came. Surprised? Like a dog that catches its tail. All right, here's the deal then. That business in the mire made me realize something. Why should I hunt for my materials when someone like you could risk your net instead? You bring me what I need, and I'll forge you something better than that thing you call a weapon. And what do you need? Another wolf fang? No, don't be so boring. I need the head of a Medusa matriarch. Really? Bring me that, and we're in business. Why do you need a Medusa head for your work? A Medusa matriarch? Why in blazes do you need that to forge a weapon? Look, if I wanted someone second guessing my work, I would find myself a derelict. Come back with it or don't. Your choice. You're very unpleasant. Devilus needs you to forge an insignia. I met a young dark elf by the name of Devilus. He asked me to. Ah, that clawless cave worm. Got you to run his errands for him? Hmm? Fine. I'll make the damned insignia. Thank you. Normally I'd charge for this, but you did save my life. Consider us even after this. Wait here. Here you go. This better work. Well, if it doesn't, don't come looking for a refund. Fair enough. We also got some quest rewards. They are not particularly good. We're just going to take the gold. And Devilus. We can deal with him. He has 75 back. health. Ugh. Do you have it? Here you go. I hope your plan works. I paid a small fortune for that thing. Oh, oh thank you. It will. What I'm sure now? Of it. While you're here, I do have one more favor to ask. What now? I need to get a letter to Kelia, my love. She grew up in the commune next to mine and was placed into endurance last year. She doesn't believe there's a way for us to be together. But now that I have the documents, we could both leave. We'd be free. Please, could you take this to her? I'll deliver the letter. Okay, I'll deliver the letter. You're doing too much for the boy, General. Oh, thank you. I'll make the final preparations while you're gone. I can't believe this is really happening. I have a feeling you're going to end up executed for this, but okay. Kelia? I am. Who's asking? I have a letter for you from Devlas. Not this again. Let me see that. He's gonna end up dead. We hm. can be together. No casts, no cage, no fear. Norse claws, he's completely lost his senses. He believes you want to run away with him. Why would I want that? I told him I was happy with my place in the realm, and if that meant we couldn't be together, then so be it. We each have our own roles to fulfill. I should take this to the guard. If they learn I knew about his escape plans, they'll make me a derelict. I'm not going to let him ruin my life. If you care about him, you'll at least wait. You may not want to be with him, but if you care about him at all, you'll at least wait to report him. This is his one chance at freedom. Fine. I'll wait a day. If you see him again, you tell him I hope it's worth it. You do care for him. Please go before I change my mind. And back we go. Eh, yeah, I'm just gonna take the Where is he now? Hopefully he's in the same area. There he is. Devilus. Oh, what do yes. I have here? I gave Kelia the letter. Yes? And? Will she meet me here? She doesn't want anything to do with you. What? That can't be. Are you sure she read the letter? Focus on your escape. Look, if you want to get out of here, you can't be distracted by anyone else. You have to focus. I know. You're right. I can't let this jeopardize my chances. Well then, I should get going. Thank you again for everything you've done. I hope we meet again out there so I can thank you properly. Good luck. Okay, I'm going to do it. Here I go. Bye, Devilus. Hope you survive. Mm -hmm. If you don't, oh well. Alright, so I guess we're going to end the video here. For now, we are done. 
Like always, if you have any suggestions or comments, please leave them below. Otherwise, I'll see you all next time. We'll head to back to the Crimson Mire and take part in the tournament. Hope you guys have a wonderful day, and take care.